Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. This is your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifatunde Oguntade, coming to you live and direct from Wilmington, Delaware. I'm coming to you live and direct from Wilmington, Delaware, brothers and sisters. And I wanna talk a little bit about this black male-female relationship situation. I wanna talk to you a little bit about this black male-female relationship situation, brothers and sisters. I'm in Wilmington, Delaware, getting some work done for the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey RBG International Leadership Academy. I'm in Wilmington, Delaware, getting some work done for the Honorable Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey RBG International Leadership Academy for Pan-African Excellence. And I just wanna weigh in a little bit on some of this black male-female relationship nonsense. This black male-female relationship nonsense. This black male-female relationship nonsense. First of all, hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. First of all, hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit your PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit your PayPal paypal.me slash fdmg academy i got two podcast interviews coming up i never knew tv special fourth of july podcast interview with i never knew tv and then i have the breakfast club on tuesday for those of y'all who are inboxing me for podcast interviews you need to text me i do not check inboxes often once again if you're trying to schedule a podcast interview, you need to text me 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858. Wilmington, Delaware family, I'm looking for a black pedicurist for my ugly feet and black female masseuse in Wilmington, Delaware for regular visits. Take care of my back, take care of my feet because as the number one black orator in the world, I must take care of my back and I must take care of my feet. Brothers and sisters, hit the cash app. This is the Snow Bunny Boogeyman, Ifa Tunde, coming to you live from FDMG, Delaware. This is the Snow Bunny Boogeyman. Prince Ifa Tunde coming to you live and direct from Wilmington, Delaware. Brothers and sisters, I just want to offer a couple of thoughts. Columbia, South Carolina, I will see you on the 21st. Dallas, Texas, maybe I'll see you on the... Uh, I'm supposed to see Dallas back up. Source of Knowledge Bookstore in Newark, New Jersey on the 14th. Dallas, Texas, maybe on the 21st. Miami Gardens, Florida, July 27th. I repeat, Newark, New Jersey, Source of Knowledge, Sunday, July the 15th. Maybe Dallas, Texas, July the 21st. Columbia, South Carolina, July the 23rd. Miami Gardens, Florida, July the 27th. That is the breakdown, family. That is the breakdown, family. Newark, New Jersey, Source of Knowledge Bookstore, Sunday, July 15th. Dallas, Texas, maybe July the 21st. Columbia, South Carolina, July the 23rd. Miami Gardens, Florida, July the 27th. Eastern Michigan University, Ypsilanti. Eastern Michigan University, Ypsilanti, August the 1st through the 3rd. Black August begins in Michigan. I said Black August begins in Michigan. I said Black August begins at Eastern Michigan University. Toronto, Canada, we working on the date. Costa Rica. Marcus Garvey Day, August the 17th. 
I just got invited to Jamaica for Garvey celebration August the 18th, but Jamaica wants me there a couple days in a row. I can't cancel on Costa Rica. So my good Garvey family in Jamaica, y'all might have to wait till next summer because the good folks in Jamaica got to me too late. I wish I would have got to me sooner. You can't come to me in July for August. You got to get me earlier than that. So I think the good family in Jamaica wants me for a couple days. So we might got to wait till next year for Jamaica because I can't cancel out on Costa Rica at the last minute like that. Okay. The Snow Bunny Boogeyman. This is what I want to say. Let me start with black women. My beautiful African queens, you know I love you, butter, almond, butter, pecan, caramel, fudge, sweet brown sugar, pistachio, warm peanut butter, chocolate fudge, African lemonade, butterscotch, vanilla, pina colada queens. You know how I feel about the queens. Okay. Black women. You often say that black men have abandoned traditional masculine responsibilities towards their women and their families. Black queens allege that black men have abandoned traditional roles of masculinity when it comes to being a protector and a provider and a nurturer for their women and children. Here's what I wanna push back on my sisters about. Black queens, the very women who say black men are no longer holding them down. The same black women who say black men have abandoned traditional roles of masculinity, being the provider and the bill payer being the financial backbone of the family, being the hard working alpha male, the same black women who claim black men have abandoned their traditional masculine roles as provider. The same women raise their sons to be simps. Listen to me, ladies. I want my queens to understand, overstand, and understand the Prince of Pan-Africanism right now. I want my queens to understand, overstand, and understand the Prince of Pan-Africanism right now. How can you say black men no longer want to be the economic responsibility behind the black family when you don't raise your son with any economic responsibility? You've heard me say this. Too many black women are raising their sons to be the same men you claim you don't want to marry. If you don't want to marry an economically irresponsible black man, why are you raising your son to be an economically irresponsible black man? Let me say it again. Let me say it again. Let me say it again to my African queens out there. I don't care if you a British African queen, Brazilian African queen, Jamaican African queen, Bahamian African queen, Texas African queen, Philly African king, queen, Delaware African queen, California, French African queen. I don't care if you a Nigerian African queen, South African queen. Stop buck breaking your black boys. I'm talking to black women. I said, stop buck breaking your black boys. I'm talking to black women. This is Ifa Tunde three times. Black women are buck breaking their own sons. What do I mean when I say the black woman is buck breaking her own son? If you raising your son without no discipline, you're buck breaking him. If he ain't got no discipline in your house, how he gonna hold down a black queen? How he gonna raise his family and pay the bills and be the be all and end all for the family? Stop buck breaking him by not giving him no responsibility, not giving him no accountability, not teaching him to control his emotions, not talking to him about controlling his shango stick. 
black women are buck breaking their black men. Listen, if black women were raising their sons appropriately, we could not have this relationship crisis. The very men you can't stand were raised by black women. Listen. I'm going to get to the men in a minute, but I want you to hold your weight one time, black woman. I'm going to get to the brothers in a minute, but I want you to hold your weight one time. The black men that black women have issues with were raised by black women. What is that telling you, brothers and sisters? What is that telling you? That means a whole population of black women have buck broken their black boys because you spoil them. You give them anything they want. You don't require anything from them. You don't teach them to respect black women. I know this because you're talking to a psychologist. You can't play me. You can't play me. This is what I do for a living. Black women do not raise their black sons to respect black women. Y'all keep talking about the men ain't this and the men ain't that. I ain't heard a black woman yet. I ain't heard a black woman yet say, let's talk to the mothers who raised these men. I ain't heard one of y'all say that yet. Selective morality. Here we go again. Selective morality. Here we go again. Selective morality. You're going to talk about the men, but you're not going to talk about the women who raised the men. That is hypocritical. That is Hypocritical. We are not going to talk about the women who raised the men. We just going to raise them. We're going to blame the product, but we will not blame the producer. We're going to blame the product, but we will not blame the producer. How are you going to talk about the boy and not the mother who raised them? You're going to blame the product, but you're not going to blame the producer. I'm going to get to the beta males in a minute. I'm going to get to the beta males in a minute, but I'm talking to the queens right now. When are y'all going to come together as black women and agree that y'all should raise your sons to respect black women? And do you know why y'all don't raise your sons to respect black women? You know why y'all don't raise your sons to respect black women? Don't shoot the messenger. I love my African queens. Don't shoot the messenger. I love my African queens. Don't shoot the messenger. But let me tell you three reasons why black women don't raise their sons to respect black women. Number one, you're afraid one of those women are going to steal your son away from your lonely ass. Let me say it again. Let me say it again. You are afraid that one of those women are going to steal your son, your buck broken black boy. The boy that you buck broke. You're afraid that one of those women your son is dating is going to steal your son away from your miserable ass. That's why you don't raise your sons to respect black women. If I'm lying, I'm dying. This is King Kong Alicious coming to you live and direct from the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey RBG International Leadership Academy. Where my Nigerian Africans at? I got my OB Cola. Where my Nigerian Africans at? I got my OB Cola. I got to do my Cola divination. I'm going to feed my Ori to make sure I stay in alignment with my higher self. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Got my incense. Got me some. Shout out to New Orleans. I got me some new incense on Bourbon Street. Listen, brothers and sisters. Number one, you don't want one of those women to steal your son away from your lonely ass. That's number one. Number two, you don't want to see your son love a woman the way you've never been loved. Let me say this again. 
will my female ancestors come into the room with me right now? I said, will my female ancestors come into the room right now? I said, will my female ancestors come into the room right now? Grandmom Ida come into the room. Grandmom Betty come into the room. Great Grandmom Vivian come into the room. Oh, yes. You don't want to see your son love on a woman the way that you was never loved on. You don't want to see your son love on a woman the way his father never loved on you. Can we call a spade a spade? Can we call a spade a spade? You don't want her to take him away from you. You don't want to see another woman get treated the way you never were. So you raise your sons to disrespect and dismiss black women, to treat them like garbage and objects because that's how you were treated. And you don't want to see the next generation of black women win because you ain't one. I said, you don't want to see the next generation of black women win because you ain't one. I said, you don't want to see the next generation of black women win because you haven't won. Y'all not ready for e Tune Day three times? Y'all not ready for E5 Tune Day three times. Y'all not ready for the Snow Bunny Boogeyman. Y'all not ready for the Snow Bunny Boogeyman. Y'all not ready for the Snow Bunny Boogeyman. Now let me get over to the brothers. Black men, the most glaring contradiction in your argument. This is King Kong consciousness coming to you live and direct from FDMG, Wilmington, Delaware. Process almost complete. You better hit the cash app. You better hit the PayPal. You better mail your check or money order payable to the FDMG Academy PO Box 9634, Wilmington, Delaware 19809. I said it's the Snow Bunny Boogie Man. You think Fred Krueger had you shook? You think Jason Voorhees had you shook? You think Jigsaw had you shook? You think Michael Myers? I'm coming out with a horror movie called The Snow Bunny Boogeyman. Somebody get Tyler Perry on the phone. Somebody get 50 Cent on the phone. Somebody get Harpo on the phone. I need somebody to produce The Snow Bunny Boogeyman and I'm gonna be The Snow Bunny Boogeyman. He gonna hunt down interracial couples and terrorize them. Who wants to star in the Snow Bunny Boogeyman movie? Starring King Kong Consciousness. The Snow Bunny Boogeyman movie. Brothers and sisters. Let me get to these brothers for a minute. Let me get to these brothers for a minute. Let me get to these brothers for a minute. Brothers, the most glaring contradiction in our argument about black women not being what we need them to be, our most glaring contradiction in the black male argument about the black woman not being what we need her to be. Let me break this down for my African kings. I'm only talking to unapologetic anti-snow bunny black males. If you are not an unapologetic anti-snow bunny alpha male, I'm not talking to you. I'm only talking to unapologetic, unapologetically African anti-snow bunny alpha males. If you are not an unapologetically African anti-snow bunny alpha male I'm not talking to you but for those who are unapologetically African anti-snow bunny alpha males you can't ask a queen to respect a king who don't have a kingdom let me say it again you can't expect a queen to respect the king who don't have a kingdom I'm going to say it one more time for the brothers in the back who cannot hear Ifatunde. I said, you can't expect a queen 
to respect a king without a king dome. Where is the dome to your kingdom? You ain't got your own home, but you want to be treated like a king. You have no source of income, but you want to be treated like a king. You don't provide for your children, but you want to be treated like a king. You don't help her flip any bills whatsoever in a house you living in. But because you have a shango stick, ibashe shango, ibashe the spirit of lightning and thunder, because you have a shango stick, you believe you should be respected. My dear brothers, I don't care how good your sex is. The sex don't pay the mortgage. The sex don't pay the daycare. The sex don't pay the car insurance. The sex don't keep the bills paid. And guess what? The sex will only satisfy a spiritually broken woman. If she's not spiritually broken, she's going to want more than a shango stick. The only reason why spiritually broken sisters will accept a shango stick as your only offering to the relationship. The reason a spiritually broken sister will accept your shango stick as the only offering in the relationship is because she has been reduced to low self-esteem and a low self-esteem woman will be satisfied with penis alone. I'm going to say it again. If she got low self-esteem, you can satisfy her with penis alone. But if she ain't got low self-esteem, penis alone will not keep her. Because the brothers with the Shangos fail to recognize. What happens when she meet a man who holds her down and got the Shango stick? You're out. You are out. See, the Shango will only last until she find a brother who got everything else and the Shango stick, my brother. You playing with fire. You playing with fire. Get your life together. Get your life together, black man. Don't call yourself a king without a kingdom. And I don't just mean this in the personal sense. I mean this in the community sense, the collective sense. And what I mean by that how black men going to get respect from black women when we let black boys terrorize our neighborhood? Black boys are out here killing black people like it's going out of style. Black men aren't doing anything about it. Black boys, 25 and under, are out here. They terrorize in Houston. They terrorize in Dallas. They terrorize in Baltimore. They terrorize in Philly. They terrorize in Delaware, Chester, Camden, Newark. They terrorize in Atlanta, Raleigh, Detroit, Chicago, Omaha, Minneapolis. They terrorize in Oakland, South Central. They terrorize in Los Angeles. And black men are doing nothing at all about the tide of violence in our community. That is our kingdom. The black community is the kingdom of the unapologetically African anti-Snow Bunny alpha male. So until black women can walk safely down the street, she never gonna call you king. She never gonna call you king. You have to be about the business of manhood to be respected as a man. You have to be about the business of manhood. I told you before, no woman can serve two men no women can serve two men. You want her to go to work slave for the Caucasian. You want her to go and work 40 hours a day for the ice man paying the bills. You want her to go and slave for the Caucasian and then come home and worship you. That don't make no sense. Why is she not working for you? Why is she not working for the family business? You want her to go out here and put up with this everyday racism. And she's supposed to act like it's normal when the white woman ain't got to worry about being mistreated by the Asian. The white woman ain't got to worry about being mistreated by the Arab. The white woman ain't got to worry about being mistreated by the Mexican. The white woman ain't got to worry about being mistreated by the East Indian. The white woman has the privilege of only answering to the white man. 
the Chinese woman has the privilege of only answering to the Chinese man. And 90% of all black women have to go and slave for our enemies. And then they supposed to come back and bow to you? Nah, ninja. That ain't the way this game gets played. You could take it or leave it. You can't take it or leave it. Let me say this. To my colorblind Negro peons in Neanderthals in the chat. To the Negro peons and the Neanderthals. This is an all African platform. I don't know who told y'all to come on here with your colorblind fantasies. I don't live in a fantasy land. If you want fantasy land, go to church on Saturday, Sunday. You want fantasy land, go to Catholic Mass on Saturday. If you want fantasy land, go to the Mass Jid on Friday. If you want fantasy land, go to a religious service. I don't deal in fantasy land. I am a pan-Africanist par excellence. I deal in the reality of solutions and institutions for African people. So if you're not interested in the reality of solutions and institutions for African people, get the f off my life. Snow Bunny Boogeyman motion picture coming soon from Prince of Pan-Africanism Studios. If you're a small film producer, and you think you got what it takes to produce the Snow Bunny Boogeyman? I also need somebody to animate the Prince of Pan-Africanism cartoon movie. Yes, two hour cartoon movie for black children. Prince of Pan-Africanism fully animated. Oh yes, oh yes. Y'all talking Nollywood? How about Papa Wood? Nollywood, we got big Papa Wood. Listen, brothers and sisters, I want to say this. You know how to reach me. 215-989-9858. Text messages only. 215-989-9858. Text messages only. Who pulling up the Nat Turner land? August the 21st with me. Go to natturnerlibrary.com. Who is pulling up to Nat Turner land with me? August the 21st. Go to natturnerlibrary.com. Norfolk, Virginia. It looks like I'm going to see you November the 9th and 10th. Norfolk, Virginia, where my seven cities Africans at, where my Hampton and my Suffolk and my Virginia Beach and my Chesapeake and my Newport News, King Kong is coming back. I'm going to hit y'all up before I go to Nat Turner. I'm going to hit y'all up. My dear brother, if you want a bunny hop, bunny hop. But when that snow bunny boogeyman movie come out we gonna see australian africans we working on it norway stockholm sweden oslo norway i'm coming london england i'm coming stockholm sweden i'm coming oslo norway i'm coming let me say this to y'all let me say this to y'all because I need to go find something to eat in Wilmington, Delaware. Where the black owned restaurants in Wilmington, Delaware? Where the black owned restaurants in Wilmington, Delaware? Where's the black owned restaurants in Newark, Delaware? Where's the black owned restaurants in Middletown, Delaware? Where's the black owned restaurants in Brandywine, Delaware? Come to Eastern Michigan University, August. First, second, and third, Eastern Michigan University. I want to say this to y'all. I want to say this to y'all. One of the reasons you haven't found the person you want One of the reasons you haven't found the person you want is because you're not the person that they need. I want y'all to hear me on this. I'm going to go deep one time. Can I go deep one time? Can I go deep one time? One of the reasons you haven't found the person you want.
is because you're not the person they need. In other words, the universe is not giving you what you want 